potentially the first person in the world to do it. That's a year and a half of hard work right there. Smashed the world record speed by about 20 kilometers an hour. So I'm back here in the middle of nowhere. We've got the drone here. There's heaps of space, so I'll be able to see how fast this thing goes. Got my battery sitting on the dashboard here, warming up in the sun. I'm hoping I'll hit 500 k's an hour for the first time. So it's going to be interesting today because I'm going to take off, fly to one end, do the speed run, then come back and land. Whereas the other day I just took off and went straight into the speed run. I thought doing the speed run at the start of the flight would give me a higher battery voltage, but it dropped to nearly 2.5 volts per cell, which is super low. I'm not sure if that's because the batteries were cold or because I'm just pulling way too much current from those batteries. But I'm hoping if I take off and fly for a bit, the batteries will warm up. Then when I do my speed run, the voltage will drop less. I'm a bit worried about running out of battery though, because I only have just enough time to take off, do the run and land. It's about 50 seconds of hovering and cruising, five or six, maybe seven seconds at full throttle. No time for mucking around. If anything goes wrong, I'm just going to have to be in it in the bushes somewhere. Okay, I got my controller and goggles on. Because once I plug in the battery, I don't want to hang around. My speed controller start heating up straight away. Quickly unplug to check my temperatures. The motors are barely warm, I can't believe that. I had high hopes, but I wasn't expecting it to be that good straight away. Oh, the batteries are they're chilling, barely warm to touch. That was as good as I possibly could hope for. Hitting nearly 550 kilometers an hour with no spinners on the props not even pushing my components. I didn't check the speed controller temperature. I want to do that now. Landed at 60 degrees. That's so chill. I think this thing could beat the record. Given there is a bit of a tailwind in that flight, I could do a second flight the other direction, but honestly, I just want to go the same direction and see how fast I can go. <laughs> okay, round one was super successful. I'm going to do it again. Uh, maybe I'll hit 550 this time. Or well, who knows, maybe I'll even hit 580 and do world record drone speed. So this is what the conditions are like. I had a bit of a tailwind. Must be like 20 kilometers an hour of wind, which is definitely helping the situation. But you know what? It doesn't even matter right now. I just want to get that number. This time I'm going for 600 k's an hour. I'm doing it. Sun's just come out, which is good. Heating up those batteries there now. Record. Woo! That was it. I don't know what it was, but it was over 580. Uh, just had a bloody old bloke wanted to talk for like 15 minutes. As soon as I, as soon as I was about to do the run, he rocked up. And I'm like, I'm not gonna let this old bloke stop me right now because I'm ready. So I did the run, and I was like, oh geez, that looked pretty quick. But let's check how fast that went. I know that it was over 580 though, so that's awesome. That's 300, 400, 500, 560, 580, 590. I was so close to 600. 594 climbing at two meters a second. I just wish I'd hit 600, it was so close. But that smashed the world record. I think even with the wind, it would be close to world record pace. That is good. That's a year and a half of hard work right there. I want to hit 600. I think I'm going to charge it up again. I had so many people messaging me telling me why it wouldn't work, why my speed controls would overheat, why the puller configuration wouldn't work, battery plugs wouldn't be enough, my battery capacity wouldn't be enough. All sorts of things they were saying were wrong with it. In my mind, I knew that it was probably going to work, but I couldn't. I couldn't tell them that because I didn't know for sure. So I didn't want to 
act all arrogant. But now I know it works. I can't believe how stable the drone is. So little tuning I've done to this. So I set what I thought would work. Then I adjusted it once, just bumping the P and D up ever so slightly. And since then I haven't touched it. And it just punches in an absolute straight line. So my batteries held a really good voltage that time. They held 2.9 volts per cell, which is 40 volts all up. It peaked out at 400 amps or so. So that's uh, 400 times 40 or 16,000 watts, 16 kilowatts of power at full throttle. And yet everything's staying cool. I really want to hit 600, so I'm going to go again. See if I can get it to 600. It's, it's almost maxing out at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll get it there today. Well, I was really hoping I'd get another flight in before the storm picked up. Hopefully it's just a quick storm and it'll clear and I'll be able to do one more flight, but oh jeez, have a look at that. Six hundred. Woo! How good. I stopped and I looked when I was about 580 and I was still descending. I left the throttle on for a few extra seconds, made sure I stopped descending, started climbing out. Okay, batteries are, batteries are getting hot, but still an acceptable level. This thing really does just cruise at 200 kilometers an hour at 25% throttle. As you can see, there's not even that much wind. Maybe like, you know, 10, 20 kilometers an hour. The motor's barely got warm. The batteries, you know, the batteries can get hot. Who cares? 600 kilometers an hour. Potentially the first person in the world to do it. Smashed the world record speed by about 20 kilometers an hour. I think if you take away the wind, it's about 580. So I'm on par with the world record, but by the time I make some aerodynamic improvements, I think, I think 600 as a legit speed is easily possible. The speed controllers are staying around 50 degrees. I'm so happy because I sized these speed controllers way oversized, thinking they will be fine with no cooling. And then everyone started telling me that they're going to catch on fire and it's going to be no good. So I started worrying, thinking I made a big mistake. Current draw. I saw 440 there for a glimpse, but definitely sitting around 350 or so for most of the run. Crazy stuff. The world's fastest drone. How good. Congratulations, Ben. New world record, 600 kilometers an hour. What an amazing effort. Year and a half of hard work. That's what you can see you can get. And there's plenty more left in the tank. Uh, I'm introducing myself here, Drone Pro Hub. And this is a place for pilots and builders and anything drones. So like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff. Thanks.